from e-learning channel, museum. Today, I'm going to teach you one of my favorite old Korean pop song called My Old Story. It was revised around four years ago by IU. However, the original song was written in 1993. Today, I used rearranged version by IU because her arrangement is so simple but still pretty to play with piano. With this song, we're going to learn many different things. So I made this lesson into three different videos. In first video, we're going to learn an easy version of my old story. In second video, we're going to learn sus chord, which is suspended chord. You may have said often, right? We're going to learn what is sus chord and how to play it and so on. And in the last video, we're going to learn advanced version of my old story, which it sounds just like music video. Are you ready to learn? Let's see how it goes. Now, if you look at the score, do you find something different from the one that we used to read? There must be something different. What about clef? Yes, right hand starts with the treble clef, so it's as usual, but left hand starts sharp clef too instead of bass clef. Normally, right hand starts with the treble clef and left hand starts with the bass clef. But in this music, if you check the left hand line, yes, it starts with the treble clef and move it back to bass clef. And the very last, do you see another treble clap? That means move it up to the treble clap and go back to the bass and move it up to the treble clap again. So left hand is keep changing the position. So you have to be careful with the clap. So when you start reading the music, first you have to check clap and time signature and you have to find the pattern of the music. So to find the pattern of the music, it's better to start with the actual song instead of the introduction. The actual song starts from the second line, which is, right hand is a treble clap. Got it? And if you look at the left hand, it starts on the C chord too. Trouble clap. So both starts on the C. And what about the next measure? Don't think about it each note. That's fine. We just will see the first two notes. And what about the second measure of the second line? Yeah. Left hand move it back. And then right hand go to the B and G. And what about next one? Left hand move it down to the B flat and G. The same thing. And right hand is also B flat and G. Do you see? So basically, right hand and left hand starts with the same note and just stepping down. Do you see C, B, B flat, right? And after that, of course, it's not gonna repeat the same pattern over and over again. Why? Then it will be sound so boring. So normally they just repeat the pattern a couple of times, but not all the way through the song. So you have to check. What about the next measure then? Left hand, move it down to A and E, and right hand stays on the C sharp, so it's gonna be actually a major chord. And then the next one is left hand, come to D, and right hand is a C and G, so it's gonna be like this chord. That one we will learn later, but anyway, that's the position. And if we move it to the next line, the left hand is, wow, it's hard to find it. Just let's see it. Trouble clap, the very top line is F. Do you remember F A C E? So F, skip down, and then there's another skip, and go to the next skip down. So it's gonna be G chord, G seventh chord, yes. And then the missing B, we will play it in right hand. And the next measure is right and come back to C again. So up to here. That's the first phrase. If you see it, the first phrase is C, G, and then stepping down, and 
another step down and then left hand go to the A again so left hand is basically C B B flat A and just keep on going down right and the right hand is a little bit moving up and come back to D and go to the G7 chord and come to C again so just practice couple of times like this try not to play every single note from the beginning then it's gonna take forever but instead of reading all the notes try to read pattern of the music it means big picture of the music so we figured it out the first pattern and then after that, it repeats back again the same thing. A little bit change maybe rhythm, but basically very similar chord. Repeats twice. And after that, if we move it on to the second page, yes, repeats it again, but in different pattern for the left hand but the same chord. Do you see? So if you want to recognize the pattern of the song, then you can play much faster. Now let's work on the first pattern in detail. Right hand starts on C, and left hand starts on C and G. Ready? One, two, three, go. right hand comes from C chord and then left hand step down to B and right hand also step down to B2 the same position do you see and left hand and drop again G E and B and left hand step down to B flat and right hand also goes to B flat too so you just leave it and go together and drop And here D but play with the finger number one instead of finger number two why because we have to play a black key of course you can go like this but our finger number one is too short to go so it's better to play one and move it to finger number two so D, D and then go to the C sharp with finger number two and left hand come to A and E Right hand, C and G. One, two, and G, D, F, which is a G seventh chord. B, C, D, and then left hand come back to C again. And right hand, you can just lift and go. One, two, and right hand tied. Two, and this is not the melody line, but this is a transition to move it on to the next phrase. Got it? That's the first phrase. Now, moving on to the second phrase. Exactly the same thing as the first one. B, C, step down. And then step down to B flat. Number two, and then to left and G seventh chord, one, two, one, two, left and G seventh chord. Exactly the same as the first phrase. Now we're moving on to the third phrase, which is the same, but left hand that we change. What do you see? C chord, the same thing, but instead of C and G, we added chord, the middle note, and B, G, the same thing, but. 
but we just step down and then it E instead of playing. Do you see the pattern of the left hand? Yes. So left hand goes just one, two, three, four, broken chord pattern. Right hand stays the same melody line. Ready? One, two, three, go! And left hand go. And left hand go. Each note, one, two. One, two, left hand G. Yes, it's not treble clap. If you don't, if you miss the clap, then you will just automatically go off the A. But it's not. The note is actually looks higher, but the actually clap is a change. So it's bass clap and C. So you come down to C chord. One, two, one, two, three. Up to here. Got it? So from very beginning of the song and off to the third phrase is pretty similar. Just left hand is a little bit change. Now from the fourth phrase, it completely changed. It's refrain. The very famous part. However, from this part, the melody line is a little bit complicated because of the eighth note and the tide. Okay, now let's go. So start from this C chord. And right hand comes in with the eighth note. So rhythm goes one, two, three, four. So you have to come right hand right after the left hand. Do you see? Once again, one, two, three, four. Do you see? And left hand goes down to E and right hand cross it over finger number two. One, two, three. Left hand, three, four. So do you see the A note and the left hand A? Three, four. Left hand again, the same A, E, but this time you have C sharp. So how are you gonna go? The easiest way is you have to slightly move your wrist instead of going with the finger because there is no way to go. If you have a big hand, that's fine. But still, it's really hard to play it. So what you can do is, as you play it along, just push your wrist a little bit up so that your finger number one will be move it in. Got it? So one, two, three, four. And right hand, bottom is the same note, C, G, and left hand come to D. Next one. 
So right hand goes F and D, and left hand goes to C. Two, three, four, and one. right away. So try not to read each single note, but instead try to read it as a group or try to see as a pattern. Then it's much easier. So for this week, the practice tip is start with shifting down and play a two note in black, the chord. And just remember the position. Listen to the harmony, because if you hear the harmony, it's so pretty. So until next week, I want you to practice slow and try to play it as clean and as nice as possible. When you play the song, you have to lift soft and drop. It's just like soft talking. That's gonna make more. your hands and then drop softly. How is the easy version of the song? At class, it looks hard. But if you figure it out the patterns of the song, then it's pretty easy. So whenever you get a new song, first you have to look at the pattern of the music and then try to read note by note. I hope you like this version of the song and we'll see you next week with a second video, which is about Suspended chord, like sus4. So stay with me and keep practice. I will see you next week.